All right, so I saw a pair of these on Adidas website. Very interested in these. I reached out and asked them if they can send me a pair and luckily they did. This is the SL72 RS. There's two different versions of the SL72, but this is the RS version. But basically this is a throwback to the SL72 from 1972. And I think that this is a very fitting pair of sneakers for 2024 right now because there is definitely a wave of gazelles as well as sambas and stuff. And so this is kind of similar with that suede and the hits of nylon on this one, but it's kind of a fun retro runner from Adidas that I wanted to go ahead and just do a little bit of a review on, do a little bit of history digging on because I didn't know much about the 72. This isn't the first time they've retroed this model. They've actually retroed this quite a bit, but I feel like the reintroduction of the retro of it right now is just pretty good timing. And when it showed up as a new item on their website, I was like, oh yeah, that's kind of a fire colorway. And this one kind of is a nod to the original colorway as well. Now as for the price point of these, they're $100 at retail, which is a pretty nice price point. Suede is actually pretty nice on here as well for what you get for hundred bucks. Also for the fit of these, I would say they do fit a little bit big. I'm normally a nine 9.5. I should have got a size nine of these instead of a nine and a half. Definitely have too much room in the toe box, but it's an interesting shoe because it is such an older build that it's very narrow as well. So somebody like myself, I'm definitely used to the more modern runners that are very, very wide. So just throwing that out there for somebody that wants something that's a little bit wider based. This is a shoe that's modern up to 1972 shoes. So obviously it's going to be a little bit more narrow in the heel. Now, just a quick overview of the shoe. It's pretty interesting. This colorway specifically, I really like. You have suede details all over the shoe from the heel cup along the mud guards as well as on the toe box up the middle of the toe box and then you do have uh, around the lace holes as well you have the rigid three stripes on each side of the model i like to look at that as well and then underneath that you have the nylon panels i like that there's a difference in the tongue material as well different than the nylon and the suede it is a fake leather liner in the inside of the shoe but it's kind of a nice detail as well something that they could actually make a premium version of and then you have a little leather strip on the back tab of the shoe with the adidas trefoil logo i do like the rubberized toe guard as well it's a nice little difference in the midsole of the shoe and then the midsole looks like you do have a little bit of a dual density foam so it's a little softer foam in the red and then a little bit firmer foam in the blue it does say adidas with the logo in the midsole as well as it kind of tapers in a little bit and then you do have kind of like a shark tooth rigid outsole along with some radial patterns on the bottom i do like the little gold stamp of the adidas sl72 branding on the side of the shoe as well pretty nice there and overall the shoe's built pretty nice considering the hundred dollar price point again i feel like this is one that can get a collaboration with super premium materials on it and this could look really really nice now some information about the original pairs of the sl72s so these were first released in 1972 to equip athletes for summer events and the Adidas SL72s were actually a lightweight shoes back in the day and they were really for running. They have a nylon upper that helps breathability and then suede overlays as well. They have an Ecotex tongue for added texture and then also an EVA midsole that helps you stay comfortable on the go. It's a very low profile cut as well as you can see low to the ground and then it does have a rubber outsole on the bottom. So these are the SL72 RSs and these pay homage to the original Adidas archives. A smooth leather upper and synthetic lining feels soft against your foot while the EVA midsole provides lightweight cushioning. The rubber outsole grips the ground to keep you steady on your feet simple yet stylish these sneakers embody the adidas originals philosophy of classic sports inspired design that's made for life so for those that didn't know the sl in the sl72 stands for super light and the 72 obviously the year 1972 so what is the difference between the sl72 and the sl72 r from what i found the rs has a little bit of a more chunkier contemporary sole unit versus the regular pair so it's just a minor change a little bit chunkier sole unit but not anything obscenely huge or different or more modernized it's just a little bit bigger than the standard now if you guys have any other information about what's different between the rs and the regular model please leave a comment in the comment section that's all i could find the crazy thing is that these were from 72 and these were like a modernized twist to what adidas has already been creating the sambas that are very popular right now the original ones were actually released in 1949 and obviously the sambas are very trendy right now and they have the same sort of low profile look suede uppers and whatnot suede and leather uppers but also very popular right now the adidas gazelle those were actually released in 1966 so the 72s were actually a more sporty modernized look than what we've previously seen in the other models but it's crazy how deep adidas is like the fact that these are from 72 and then in 2024 you could be wearing a pair of these now and then people are going to look at your feet and go it's kind of a sleek looking like retro runner that you're wearing and i like the look of it it has a very like fashionable look to the shoe which is something that i personally don't feel like i can pull off very well because i'm not like supermodel chic you know what i mean and the width of the shoe being a little bit too narrow for my personal taste but i can appreciate what they're releasing with these and i love this colorway by the way as well i think this is a tremendously nice colorway they have a bunch of different colorways available over on adidas website if you guys are interested in any of them link in the description and you guys can go over there and check them out but leave a comment in the comment section what do you guys think about the sl 72s have you had them in the past are you looking to get one in the future uh curious to see what you guys have to say and leave a comment if you guys remember the sl loops they had a moment back in the day they had the, the two dollar bill pair that i had i think it was from 
I don't know, some, some ATL or Wish or something like that. Anyway, the uh, the SL loop had a moment as well, which was kind of inspired by uh, the older pairs. In fact, they had a colorway of this in the SL loop. That was pretty nice back in the day as well. But anyway, my overall thoughts on the SL 72s. Is it a buy? I think so. If you're looking for something sleek, like something that is themed after the original uh, from the 72 era, and just the fact that it's like a nice retro runner that has some like DNA behind it from uh, Adidas in the long, rich history. So that's uh, my thoughts. If you guys are interested in buying a pair of these, I'll link them in the description as well as the regular pairs. So you can see the difference. They're really very similar, but I'll link all of them over there in the SL72s. Appreciate you all for stopping by, and thank you again, Adidas, for sending these over per my request. Much, much appreciated. Have a good rest of the day, though. Hopefully we'll see you guys back on the channel for some more content soon. All right, peace, guys.